over, but it's this deep CT control because of their variation on the smokes. Ross, he's going to be playing right next to it. And Mad Lions try to run boost players through. Frozen, he gets himself one headshot, and he's got another couple in front of him. But as he's reloading, he is gunned down. Two versus two, even kill once more. They see the players in the back of the bomb site, and they just have to land their shots, but they won't. Mouse Sports follow through. Here is this, you know, this is their last chance. We've we've had a couple of hiccups throughout the first few days. No more time for that. No more margin of error. To you, Connor. Uh, you know, you want to make sure everyone's playing in their tip-top condition. And Frozen, he's hired guns because of his aim. He, first and foremost, smart player, young, great aimer. And you want to make sure he's working at his full capacity at all times. Nice round here from Frozen to push through the smoke. He definitely got this one rolling. He's the reason they got pressured over into this B site. And Shush with the Deagle oh, needs man. no teammate. Two frags off the cannon. And mouse sports. Just like it was pointed out on the desk, so. Ooh, shush. He's got the position on the balcony to cut down the first one, falling downwards and trying to stay alive, but Chris gets him with the Tech 9. Acor close on the smoke with the silent M4 as frozen. Turning his attention back down middle, catches that B flank, an aggressive decision from Mad Lions to try and corral these T's, both of which are closer to the site. They couldn't find Acor if they tried, though. He has somehow gotten away from the threat and now tucks himself away behind the hay bales. Woxic getting his hands onto the M4. You know, he walks right into Roy. Kevlar for Chris. An oddity in this round, but they rotate a third player over just as the T's decide to dry run this. They try and use the element of surprise by just sprinting in. Whatever, we move on from that. We've got now banana down both ways, a push down mid. Bubski starts off this round. With a Tempest, Ooh. there's damage on Kerrigan as well. Trade-in, though, from Rops. Yeah, Rops trying to be the difference maker here. He catches Acor before he could fall back, but the CTs did such a good job of Ooh. leaving B. Awesome 4K coming out of Rops here. Single-handed showing, but still it's in the one versus one. Four frags for Mr. Cool, and it's still not enough. But that you can survive a headshot from an M4. You need to have an extra damage. Holy crap! Walks it, couple of one deeks, and they're off to the ring with his teammate. So at least they're able to respond quickly here. But walks it well equipped, and Kerrigan, are you kidding me? Extremely vulnerable on a rush like that. If you get the first player off a very nice shot, it might not always start off so well, but still, it's important to include maps like Inferno in your playbook. Bubsky's trying to find that timing inside of short. Kerrigan's gonna, gonna uh, decide to pick up the heat here. Sports, who had the rush, come to a halt because Frozen could very well find timing. He sees Roy with a knife in hand and destroys him for it. Frozen doubling back in to clear out Moto, and he's not gonna win that duel. So Robs is now very much alone. Another clutch for him to try and pick up, but it's shut down. Again, though, this is the CT is just finding the terrorists mid-execution. Bubsky calling for his teammates to come over because the little that's left of mass sports is indeed pressuring inwards. Oh. There it is. That's what we're looking for. Hmm. Woxic connecting two quick headshots. That's going to enable the bomb plant for Rox. He gets himself a third, gunning for the fourth. The Cillian, he's going to just try to buy time. A little bit more damage here from Woxic, and he still sits on 56, trying to cut off the tail end of it. Shush. Good timing for the tease. And then even getting away by falling that player up banana. I love it. That tempered aggression calculated, but can they account for this? Chris J coming in and taking names. His second kill already added to the tally. He tries for the third inside of Pit, but Roy comes in to bail him out. And Mad Lions again, just... Oh, he's blind, man. The aggression's over and over. Whoa. Sometimes you can start off your day just right. Do it. And over here from Woxic trying to set the utility for his teammates to run forward. Bomb leads the charge on short. It's a three-man hit, and nobody checks out a Cillian. He pops up the aim duels, looking to kick mouse sports while they're down. And the hit comes in. There is a T inside of the CT smoke. Ooh, could start getting awkward. Chris J, that's him. Comes back and finds them turn. Bubski in turn, 16 and six. He's created enough of a distraction for Shush to come in as the insurance policy. Now Karen, Kerrigan's got nowhere to go, nowhere to go except for forward, it seems. Both players on the site, rocking headshots and Rops <laughs> lands another. You know, Kerrigan falls back. Woxic says, don't worry, I'll take the front line. Poor man gets bombarded, just pummeled by Bubsky, who's not showing any signs of slowing down. Total disrespect here as they just...
pressure their way through Boiler, and then that's gonna force most sports to double back towards B. A core, are you kidding? Name one player on Mad Lions who's not playing lights out right now. I know. You, yeah, yeah, I lose. I lose. You're right. This is, uh, I yeah. I set you up to fail. I think you did, yeah. But uh, it just, it, yeah, it goes to show, and you think about it, and you look at all these players, and you can think of a highlight. Roy on the A site, Shush on the pistols, Bubski on the lurks. <laughs> Everybody is doing their part and playing really well. And, the, and I think that's heavily drops with the 4K. They lose the round, the 1v1 on A site. There we have it. Something. Something to play off of. But there's still a landmine in the form of Acor. He's back behind the car. Comes in with the Deagle. Just looking to stay alive, but Chris J's going to triple up on the play already. He gets clotheslined by Bubski, who's, oh my goodness, just playing lights out. Again, no fear CS. Doesn't matter if he has to sprint from the other side of the map. He sets up his teammates to succeed. Shush. Five frags, five kills. I'd pay money for that. Oh <laughs> my god, I guess two nades is enough. Kerrigan's big brain blown away. Now frozen in the back of the bomb site's gonna get pressured by the numbers here from Mad Lions. They've got their bomb coming over and Acor waste. Yeah, there's a flank coming in here too. So unfortunately for most sports, they've got all their heads turned forward. Shush arrives in uh -oh. time, but uh, a little bit delayed. Still gets it done. The first two kills are his. Now Woxic, he has responded with both a frag grenade kill and then that pistol follow up dealing with the flank. So his eyes fall forward and his feet move there too. Trying to figure out where the hell they've gotten off to. Whipping around with the crosshair, but he will be dropped. A 10. Rating second best team in Denmark. But that's Pim's words. Ooh, threw it. Now some utility from the T's being thrown as well. Kerrigan, he hasn't spotted anything, so caught by surprise by Bubski, who's just playing timings. That uh, you have in hotel rooms, so you always end up turning off the lights and banging your shins on them and getting into bed. That's But with the commitment to the utility, you know they're inbound, frozen now from the top rope, able to get the first one. A success story versus Bubski. That's going to be great for Mouse Sports because Rops comes flying through the smoke. That's what they needed. Some sort of a shutdown. At least that first kill to enable Mouse Sports to get into position. And even Woxic locks down the line over at the A site. <laughs> he just saw someone cross into uh, under. Oh, wow. He saw, he saw his feet on his screen. But the scary part is, again, that Mad Lions call out the rotate for, or the call out the setup perfectly. Rops. Nicely done. Oh. Aggression inside of Boiler works out perfectly. Mad Lions trying something different. Rob's low. Ooh, Rob's blind. They get pick control. Ooh, but he walks right into Kerrigan. And then another. Notice where he gets those frags from uh, in the end at that Galil stage. We saw the player slip into Little Pit. You and I are both thinking maybe there's a chance here, but he throws uh -oh. himself into a dangerous spot. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Just to get the job done. Round opened. 16-5, very real, unless the CTs can manage this retake. Bubski just on the other side of the smoke. It's all on Woxic, and down he goes. Insult to injury, dirt in the wounds. Six, where okay. you can, you basically can fly around. Yeah, it's all about movement, avoiding people from touching you. Good to know. Good to know. You can't afford to lose the first duel here. Nope, Woxic's gonna try to distract up from ramp. Woxic actually gets the job done, unless Shush has something to say about it. He picked up two of the three kills. Ten seconds, one shot, and it's Mad Lions to kick it off. Just on solo, try to dismantle that crossfire. Agreed. No bomb plant for Mouse Sports in that first round. Decide to come in with the buy regardless. Not working out until Frozen gets something with the Deeg, but Bubski drops bomb yet again, just being his own boss. Always on his own, always in the face of Mouse Sports. Always one step ahead. He takes the uh, high road up onto the dumpster. <laughs> and Roy's here to help lend a hand. Frozen called back to action. He's at least got the MP9, but god yeah. damn, they're just gonna chew him up through the smoke. A flashbang over T-Con. Three running inside. Ooh. What a spray by Kerrigan. Oh wow, and he tries to go one better, but then a Cillian doubles back. The leaders taking charge, setting the example. Roy hot on the heels of the ramp players. Rock's having none of that. Turns back around, deletes it. The wild spray at a distance, but that one's hard to control. So Finn Anderson. Kind of surprising that he was up on top of the train as the bait on top of that. Wow, a tag from the off. 
combined with an aid as well to finish off Kerrigan. This outside rush is stopped in its tracks. Yeah, they're really trying to push the issue, but Astillion oh, oh, oh. and Acor and Roy all that list, unfortunately, for most sports. They're getting closer to this bomb site, at least here inside of this round, but Bubski and Acor locking it down to kill a piece before Chris gets onto the feed. Ah, uh, but he too canceled out after just one. He two moments and the rest of his team have really succeeded. Then maybe he makes magic happen. But even with that crisp of a first eagle shot, you see what happened. That lurk. Sometimes that play works out beautifully. That Kerrigan tried to pull off and they at least get the ladder. Talking about yeah. another uh, great KZ player. There's Ooh, the drop. Rocks. Wow, that's an incredibly difficult shot to hit. Shooting through his own toes. Gets two Such players a... down inside of T. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Frozen. Frozen Count sees a player up. with his back turned, and now he's got confirmation on a second. He's the bomb carrier as well, so he's going to tap into the back of the head, you'd think. No, no, no. He keeps going. Oh, this is sick. Awesome stuff from Frozen. He that, uh, yeah, he needed to kill in that order of events. Shush going for the 1v2 can't happen. Frozen continues his heaven. They've got him locked in. Since he's pinned here, they can take ladder room control, and they also kill Bubsky behind, so tough situation. But Acor, he's actually still got an off, and he's been menacing outside. Ooh, yeah, another kill. The second. It's 3v3. Yeah, Almost like unfortunate for mouse sports that they find those kills so quickly because that's what allows Acor to catch them by surprise oh. a third. And he is looking for more. The last two remaining members of mouse sports have both been tagged up. Combined health of 52. That's it. Acor has done everything and he's going to read the peek out into Ivy. Oh. Pistol headshot at that distance. Get to get the ball. Back in for the scope. I mean, maybe the rotator is probably just sitting in connector. He's going to try to put the bomb in. Oh, he's getting tapped. Oh, Acor. the ace, man. And that's frozen on the other side. Astillion trying to hold him back, but it's Chris J who's managed to get out from Tcon, and he picks up the kill. Low HP, and Acor deals with him swiftly. Has to let him get back somewhat, but this is pressure. This is this is making discomfort for the CTs on A. And this ladder player allows them now to, to compromise more positions what? upstairs. Astillion just comes flying through the mullet. I mean, that's a full spread Molotov. I think yeah, that's give what yourself a chance tries. to play. Ooh, a war of patience. Oh, and Acor wins it. Oh my God! Give us the back-to-back -back aces. Seriously? Oh okay. no, sir. Watix got other ideas, and I like that too. I want to see some counter-opping coming out of Mouse Sports. So an insurance uh, policy in play. Watix also swapped over the AK. Shush walks in and is sent packing. So Mouse. And Roy, well, he gets somewhat flashed, but he's still going to find them with their backs turned. Drops bomb, and he knows he's in the midst of it all. A little bit too much to handle here. We do have Mouse Sports back into the man advantage. Woxic looking for another headshot, and they catch a silly. And again, parading through utility. Acor, who else to try and hold this back? He gets the headshot, only losing a little bit of health. Rops barely alive. Comes out from behind and mm. shuts the from that angle because they have a shadow advantage on you. So it'll be impossible to win if they're just like, you know, smart enough to realize they just have to outweigh you. Um, but yeah, tough, tough position to be in. In with a buy. We've got most of the trimmings they could hope for and an opening kill. That's a wall bang from Roy versus Kerrigan. The first casualty of the round again, but it won't matter if his team can still make up for it. If his death is in vain, this might be, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if Bubsky tries to flank off this. Refreshing yeah, ladder. Mm -hmm. It's coming. It lingers and the bomb. Burnt to a crisp. Down ramp. Ross able to pick up a crucial headshot versus Acor. All the while, Asilian and Shush are going to lock down the play. Chris J, a god at clutching on this B bomb site. Would need as many kills in this round as he already has, and that's not going to happen. Bang through the skies, but Woxic's still able to get away. And Acor, well, he wants some. He's going to get some. Charges straight into the faces of Frozen and Chris. Roy's denied from back, and Rops now with everything to do. A one versus three with Acor already pinning him into the close smoke, but nobody else to get on top of that bomb, so he doubles back for it. There's two kits in the situation, one of which is on Acor. Bomb defused, and a ninth round for Mad Lion. Equally as good as Inferno. Fair enough. Yeah. Oh, Bubski, good for just the one. Mouse Sports, sure as hell not going to go down without a fight. They're keeping up the tempo, trying to go blow for blow. Never seen anything like that. Something very poetic about that round of Counter-Strike. Yeah, definitely. Let's see if Ross... Okay. 
Ooh, also has anything to work with. Look at this. Quick little headshots coming out of Robson Woxic, and that's why you can never count them out. But uh, hey, Woxic gets what he wants. It's a bomb plant over on the B site. Ooh, he's going to at least tuck himself into a little bit of cover, but Mad Lions, they're sticking inside of the smoke. He goes for the spray, and oh, it falls flat in here on train. So probably not going to over-aggress too much in these opening rounds. We saw some wild shenanigans happening once they had that early lead. But here in the pistol, it's back into the four versus four. Kerrigan is watching Old Bomb cross, and Roy is deciding to run straight out. Ivy with that P250, tapping Kerrigan down and getting the kills they need to plant this bomb. It's been flushed away from Mouse Sports. Mad Lions just cranking it into that A bomb site. Flashbangs and smokes signaling the inevitable push. Kerrigan blind, but still good for a kill and the follow up headshot is him so now this is the playmaker position he jumps up and drops bomb that is a huge kill but he can't manage the follow-up frag so Woxic's gonna have to do it all on his own Bubski before doing anything else the peak up into upper Woxic good for the one but there's no way he suspects a second player touch Bubski does him dirty and mad lions frozen oh yes deagle connects He's going to go ahead and reload it as Rops connects the headshot as well with his flanks. It's just the P250 for this flank, but he upgrades into the AWP, catching Bubsky by surprise. Mm, can't get that second one as he drops the two points of health. So Roy and Shush separate from one another, but with huge HP advantage over top of what's <laughs> left of Mouse Sports. And that frag grenade's going to help because, as I said, Mouse Sports have everybody else coming in from the opposite side. So now eyes forward for Mad Lions or eyes sideways. Seems like Roy can't quite manage the player on the bomb site and Shush is down after his second frag. Mm, they barely got it over the line, but uh, whoa, whoa. Hyper aggression coming out of Mad Lions, already exiting Tcon and already starting to fall. That's two members down as Rops very quickly wastes no time to run back down the ladder room, executing two, hits them from the sidelines, and Roy's got everything to do. AK up, threat nearby, Woxic holds the line. It wasn't nerfed nearly as hard as the Krieg, it just happened to uh, unfold on the very same day. Rops, hello. And Mad Lions, goodbye. Four piece. You know it's gonna sting. But be careful, Rops. Ooh, or throw caution to the wind. The man rounds the corner. He knows exactly what's going on. Calls out Roy Boost. And uh, we very swiftly find ourselves in a 5v. And uh, I think if they, if they don't figure that out, it's obviously gonna be. Hide plants. That's gonna be exposed now to both directions. Oh. And with Bugsy inside of Z, he needs a gun. But Kerrigan manages the AUG versus the reload. As Woxic picks up another one with the sniper, a Cillian finds his paws on an M4. That's one rifle for Mad Lions to try and play off of, one player for them to try to play off of. Mad Lions uh, really stuck to the spacing, sacrificed their first player to get out, but push Rob's back, allowed the bomb to go down. That's the big and... one. That's the huge kill. Oh, like, wait oh. a second. They're down one guy, and they already have They're the early something. rotate out. Ooh, Chris oh. can't manage. Gets just the one kill. Really good timing there on Mad Lion's peak. Doing a double dip in both directions. Then catching flank is Bubsky. This is the round. Points Mohan and elimination on the line. Chris J hits a nice shot, but I feel like... Spoke. Oh, but he's got to clear the corner on Ivy. He could find huge timing. Roy decides to just kill Kerrigan. Starts killing teammates in the middle of it all. But that's all right. Shush, still standing. The thing is, is they haven't gotten frozen out from behind the Ivy train, and they've already decided to put that bomb down. A hectic four versus five retake attempt to unfold. And because of the smoke, Woxic has to shoot blindly through it to get anything going here for Mouse. Chris, up close, needs to check left, but Roy slips by. And Roy could now deny everything because he finds two players with their backs turned. He doesn't actually know Chris's move forward, but no problem. Bastillion kills them all, and Mad Lions send them packing. Mouse Sports eliminated from Group B, and we have...